The time has come to cut into the 600 liter vat of coagulated milk. Joining me now is that Wilma Klein Swarming. She is the plant manager and um, head cheesemaker <laughs> here at uh, Glengarry Cheesemaking. How are you doing today? Good, good, thank you. Okay, so what exactly did you just do here? We were just testing the curd to make sure that our coagulation is at the point we want it to, uh, to cut the vat to continue on so that we're going to uh, get the way out of the uh, cheese and be left, uh, get the way out of the vat, I guess, and get, uh, be left with the cheese. So that's our, that's our goal always, is to rid ourselves of the way and, uh, and uh, have the solids remain. Okay, and what type of cheese will this eventually become? Uh, it's a Gouda style. We call it Lancaster. Uh, it's a play on the Dutch uh, Kaas word. K-A-A-S is, uh, is Dutch for cheese. And so uh, Lancaster with the local town nearby, that's what we came up with. Okay, yeah. so it's a Gouda style. You said that we kind of have to get things going, right? Yeah, we absolutely. Start We're going to cut the Because back. is it a little bit time sensitive, Wilma? Absolutely, yeah. At, yeah. This, at this point, when it's when it is ready, you do want to encourage it to move along so that it doesn't over acidify or anything like that. Okay, so, so I'll I'm try and lend you a hand. Yes, where I absolutely. Can. I'll give you a knife as well, and you can give it a. A shot. What we're going to do with this fat today, you'll see that it's the sharp side there. Okay. Okay, and I'll just hand that over. All right. I'll have the same. So generally you're going for a grid pattern. Okay. So I would reach across the vat like this, draw it across the bottom, leave the thermometer in but out of my way. Mm -hmm. And okay. I just do this initially to encourage an even cut because we let the vat do what is called healing, which means we pre-cut and then the curds will sort of start to firm up so that when the uh, machine takes over, it's a lot easier to cut it without shattering the curds. Okay. So that's why we're doing it. So if you want to, you can just follow the same sure. line. You'll, you can see the lines in there now because the whey's already trying to creep out. Okay, and why don't you want it to shatter? Because if you shatter, uh, whatever you shatter, it generally goes out in the way and you want to capture that for your, uh, for your cheese, okay. not for the pigs. So Wilma, what has happened to the milk up to this point? At this, um, we pasteurized it. We have an HTST uh, pasteurizer that we use. Mm -hmm. So we do pasteurize it. Well done, that looks good. That's okay. <laughs> okay. Yes. Um, and it is taken to the vats here where it's already at the temperature that we need for our culturing. So we add bacteria that will acidify the milk, which okay. means the bacteria are essentially using the sugar or the lactose in the milk byproduct is acid and acid as any preservative in any kind of processing uh, helps the cheese to uh, age well and survive the uh, the aging room and mm -hmm. then you end up with a good, a good cheese afterwards hopefully yep. so now we'll cut in the opposite direction okay. I'll, just take the, I'll take the long one if you want to start in your direction sure. now. Yeah. Okay. and where are you getting the milk that you're using to make the cheese from uh, we, there's a farm nearby it's nice we're all local milk all the time which is really nice this farm is just around the corner it's actually brown Swiss milk that we're using okay which is uh, which is really nice and uh, it's quite a large farm of brown Swiss and uh, I'm just thinking, I wish I could remember, I think it's Maple Bloom Farm, but it's uh, mm -hmm. the Riemann family, they have their, okay. their cattle. What would it taste like at this point? Very bland. Very bland. Uh, yeah, it, it's milky. Uh, yeah. If you want, you could taste it. Um, but yes, it would be very bland right now. Just touch, yeah. I can just pick a piece. You step away from the vat though when you taste it. <laughs> okay, okay. So a little bit later in the show, we are going to be heading into the ripening room. Yes. And taking a look at all the different cheeses that are aging there, and then we'll end our morning in the uh, cheese store. Yeah. But we'll get to taste the cheese. It's not awful. No, it's not awful, but it's it's The what? texture <laughs> takes some getting used to. Head to the Glengarry Cheese Making website in the meantime, but to stick around, we've got more coming up from Lancaster a little bit later on CTV.